If you preach God's word without the kind of prayer you're supposed to pray, if you preach God's word without your heart moved, bleeding in the heart for the spirit, if you don't have that agony of soul, you are making your hearers worse than they were. Because now you are sowing, casting your seeds, your, your peers before swine, and giving that which is holy to dogs. You see, because you haven't prepared them to receive seed, and here you are scattering this seed. These so important things that you have to share. How can you share these things without preparing the ground? You are wasting the seeds. The message you carry is too important, Pastor Shiji. Your message is too important. I hear you. I hear you. That message is too important. The right prayer is very, very important for that message to transform lives. Because that message is too important. I hear what I'm telling you. You are carrying an important message. You don't want to cast it before swine. You don't want to throw it away. Value what you carry. Value it. And because of that, let there be agony of soul. You know, the English got that word agony from the Greek agonizomai. It means to struggle, as to fight. You know, it's, you're contending with someone for something. Not wrestling. Mm -mm. This is fight. This is struggling. And when you are praying at that time, it's as though you are trying to, 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 to seize those lives from Satan's hands. You are struggling to get that carnal brother to become spiritual. You can see him. He has been so carnal. He doesn't take church seriously. And you are coming with a message that is so important. Oh, why should this brother hear it again and go back the way he used to be? You don't want it this time. And you're saying, Father, no. Father, no. No. He will hear it today. And you're crying. And as you are struggling for his soul, struggling for his soul, struggling for his soul, something will be happening within your spirit as you bleed with tears in your heart. Then the Spirit of God finds it necessary to release grace. The Bible says, he giveth more grace. So now, he says for us to obtain what? Grace. To find help in time of need. So we have, in the throne room, sought grace. More grace for some people. Hallelujah. So as you pray, you're collecting grace to distribute to others. Father, I need grace for that sister today. I need grace for that brother today. Lord, that family that's been trying to have children and they have not been able to have, you are wrestling now. In the name of Jesus, you are praying with tears. 